Storm Track 5 weather team alerting you to severe weather danger. A little bit of dense fog across the area this morning. Check out this view here from Johnson City. It's been improving a little bit. Earlier, we couldn't even see some of the business signs here on the north state of Franklin Road from our Bank of Tennessee camera, but we've now got a decent view of them, but still a little bit of fog in the distance, so give yourself a little extra time traveling this morning. That fog should burn off around 9 or 10 a.m. this morning across the region. Temperatures, not too bad. It's upper 60s this morning across the area. Checking in on our radar and satellite picture. No real rainfall across our area as we speak right now. And as we go throughout today, I expect most of us to stay dry, but some of us could see a stray shower this afternoon. Best chance for that will be in the mountains of Tennessee and North Carolina, where we'll have just a little bit better lift and a little bit better dynamics to come into play to produce a few of those showers and perhaps an isolated thunderstorm with a downpour or two. Temperatures this afternoon, very similar to yesterday in the low to mid 80s across portions of Northeast Tennessee. Across the map here, we're looking for around 77 in Boone, 79 in Mountain Cities, 82 in Irwin, and 84 in Rodersville. The same across southwest Virginia, but a couple degrees cooler, with temperatures more in the upper 70s to low 80s, with 83 in Gate City and 80 in Lebanon. Mix of clouds and sunshine today, becoming mostly cloudy tonight. That helps keep us a little bit warmer with temperatures dropping down to around 66, 67 degrees across most of the metro area and 64 towards Norton and across portions of southwest Virginia. You can't run a stray shower into the overnight, but once again, most should stay dry. But we've got a little bit more moisture moving in as we go into your Monday. Let's talk about that. Future track here stopping it at around 6 a.m. or 9 a.m. excuse me, this morning, showing that mix of clouds and sunshine around, but really no rainfall. It's really when we get into the noon 1 o'clock time frame when we could see a few showers popping up in the mountains across Tennessee and North Carolina. Some of these could be slow movers and that could produce a decent amount of rainfall in a short amount of time. So keep that in mind if you get caught underneath one of these today. Could have some heavy rainfall, maybe even some isolated flooding. If you ever go camping or hiking in the summertime, especially in the mountains, you know, there's lots of creeks and streams. Be alert whenever a thunderstorm pops up because the potential is there for some flash flooding, not on a wide scale, but on a minor scale with some of those creeks and streams there in the backwoods. 8 o'clock tonight, winds from the northeast around 5 to 10. Most of the shower activity starting to die down a little bit. Then we go into Monday and watch what happens throughout the day. We start off the day relatively dry, but as we go later on into the afternoon, once again, some pop up showers and storms. First in the mountains, then in the valleys, with another batch of moisture coming towards us. We go into the evening hours of Monday. That could be on the heavy side. We'll keep an eye on that as we go into the first day of the work week. Your seven day forecast looking like this. Better shot for rain actually coming on Tuesday. Then we lessen our rain chances a little bit Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. About a 40% chance for some pop up showers and storms as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday right now. Looking all right with an isolated shower or a storm possible with a rain chance around 30%. Temperatures very close to where they should be for this time of the year. Average is around 85 degrees. And we're going to be between about 83 and 87 degrees over the next week or so. So not looking too bad, especially as we go into Wednesday, you know, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, lots of events here in downtown Bristol and over the racetrack. So always watching the weather forecast as we get a little bit closer to those events and uh, keeping our fingers crossed as well. All right. <laughs>